Sweden, the home of IKEA, Fika, ABBA, and apparently, apparently, cheese coffee. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cheese and coffee together. And no, I'm not talking about that 90 hour anaerobic carbonic maceration with beer yeast fermentation that sort of faintly tastes like cheese. I'm talking real cheese, real coffee. But there's only one problem. Cheese coffee. Cheese coffee, no. That is not a thing. No, um, you mean the... No, but I, but, yeah, but no. No? <laughs> no, no. No one <laughs> seems to know what I'm talking about or if they do, where I can find it. I swear I'm not crazy. I heard about this cafe Ost. Okay. I guess I'll just grab an espresso. So, I've always wondered about this mysterious Swedish cheese coffee. Is it a myth? Is it something that's maybe extremely regional in Sweden? That's why I can't find it. Since I'm researching and discovering traditional coffee cultures around the world, I knew I had to come here to Sweden to, to see if I could find it for myself. But it's proving to be a little bit harder than I expected. Do you have uh, the Swedish cheese coffee? Cheese coffee, no. There is a coffee here which is really popular if you know leaky coffee. So you can just try to ask them maybe. I see you have cheese on the menu, but I'm wondering if you have the cheese coffee. No. Like the Swedish cheese coffee? No, I don't know what that is. You don't know what it is? No. Like this. Coffee fondue. I have a special kind type of cheese and you put it in the in the coffee like this. Okay. I'll keep looking. Yeah, you can. All right, so this place right behind me, it's literally called Koffein. They have to have the Swedish cheese coffee. You know the cheese coffee? Cheese coffee? Like the Café Ost, the cheese inside the coffee. It's like a Swedish thing. Cheese in the coffee? Yeah. No. Uh, Sorry, I mean, this business like 20 years. I never had put cheese oh, in no? the coffee. Oh, no? Café Ost. <laughs> no, no, not like a specific coffee and cheese. Okay. But, so maybe this one is, it's better with wine. And you don't have any wine that I can taste no, side by I'm side? Sorry. <laughs> Good cheese, but the search continues. Oh, I know this place. Drop Coffee. They're a classic in the Stockholm coffee scene. They gotta know something. I'm, I'm curious if you know anything about the, the cheese coffee. The what? Café Ost. Ah, uh, no, that's like a North, North thing. And it, People down here, they don't like to do it. Is it a Swedish tradition if no one knows it? Hmm, touche. This coffee is probably better on its own anyways. I decided to head on over to the historical center of town. It seemed to me that they were pretty up on the gastronomical delights and local delicacies, so they must have some coffee with cheese. Hopefully we have some better luck here in Gamla Stan. I'm, uh, I'm looking actually for... Uh, Swedish cheese coffee. Okay. Café Ost? That is not a thing. It's not a thing in Stockholm? No. I haven't heard anyone serving it in this region. In this region. Better go to the, to the north. Okay, so. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Ooh, I'm getting brain freeze just walking around. Maybe this cozy little traditional café will have something. I was curious if um, if you have the coffee and cheese, cafe Ost. You don't have that. No. Do you know what that is? Though? No. Really? Okay. Okay. So no, no, we okay. don't have that. My hope was really starting to wear thin, so I thought I'd take things into my own hands. So, I know what you're thinking. Is it really worth it? Going through all of this just to taste cheese coffee something that clearly doesn't even exist whatever I read online I was lied to and the answer is probably no it's not worth it but I'm the nomad barista we're gonna make a cheese coffee right here on the dock out here with the boats mm, freshly ground with the cup of mocha travel pour over from Wakako
Let's give it a taste. I mean, uh, I was kind of anticipating it being a bit more floaty. Tastes generally like coffee. Not much cheese going on, but this is more of a halloumi than anything. Maybe I'll have better luck tomorrow. Actually pretty salty. <laughs> I did find one cafe online that may have it, so I'm gonna give them a quick call and see if it's true, because you never know. It's quite a trip across town. And let's see if we can find this Café Ost. Hey, you're welcome to the captain. We took a for food pickup. Okay, it was an automated message with what I understood to be a voicemail prompt. Let's head over there and find out. I'm getting closer. I can feel it. I can smell it. I can smell the cheese. I'm finally here. It's a place called Vete Katten. If I cannot find the Cafe Ost here, I give up. So I was told that this is the place to get the Cafe Ost. Cheese coffee? Cheese coffee. No, no? we don't have that. You don't have that? No. Do you know what that is? No, I have no idea. Oh, huh. okay. So, I said I'd give up, but I'm stubborn. If the coffee people couldn't help I, me, <laughs> maybe the cheese people can. How are you? I'm fine. I'm, you? I'm looking for this. We don't have it. Is it a Finnish no. thing? Is that why? Yeah, more, more like that. So I have to go to Finland? Yeah, we had a Finnish store here. Ah. And they, they, they had it. And it's gone now? Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to find maybe a Finnish store. Exactly, something Stockholm. like that, yeah. Okay. I never tried it either. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like a crazy person. I truly thought the Swedish cheese coffee, the Café Ost, was a cultural tradition here in Sweden. Maybe it's a more regional thing, as I mentioned earlier. A lot of people are saying you gotta go north, you gotta go to where the Sami people are in Lapland that borders both Sweden and Finland. There's gotta be a coffee lesson here. You don't always get the coffee that you want, but sometimes you get the coffee that you need. But I have to say, it was very fun going around and asking different people if they had heard of this or if they knew where I could find it. I feel like I got a better sense of the Swedish coffee culture, you know, and different people across the board, from baristas to cheesemongers. I do recommend going around and doing that yourself on your next trip. Just go and talk to people. See if they have a little bit more to share. See if they have some insights or some places that you should go. I find that uh, baristas are a great way to learn about a new city and find the best spots to eat, the best spots to drink. And when I go to Finland, I will try the Café Ost. So if you know where I can find it, please let me know. That'll make my next trip a lot more effective. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, see you out there.